Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about uh, pollution. Yes, the enormous pollution that hikers think that uh, you're making with your uh, off-road vehicle while you're overlanding. Uh, I know that many people feel guilty about it somehow, but uh, do we really need to feel guilty? Well. Uh, I'll show you something interesting. Hello my friends. So, uh, in order to show the possible uh, impact of off-road vehicles on the environment, on nature, we have come to maybe the cleanest place in Serbia where the air is uh, guaranteed unpolluted. It's uh, the furthest place from civilization that you can find in Serbia. It's in the Kutraj mountains, it's called Valkaluci. Here is our uh, air quality gauge and what we can read now is 0204 so there is almost no pollution. No vehicles have passed here today so these two uh, Grand Cherokees with Euro 3 engines, meaning quite significant polluters, will be the first vehicles to pass behind here. I've walked uh, more than half a kilometer to ensure that there is no previous pollution from any vehicles passing by. So now I will uh, give them the signal to start and then we will measure. Uh, the pollution level around the track where they passed and exactly about uh, as low as their uh, exhausts have been so uh, if any concentration exists it must show there so let's give them the signal to start Oh, looks like the other one is a bit stuck in the mud, but what we are interested in is the pollution level. Here we are in line, exactly in line where the uh, vehicle has passed. As low as the exhaust pipes are, as you can see, it's still 0, 0,4. So it doesn't seem that uh, the pollution level has risen compared to the uh, completely clean level. So now there is a Cherokee passing by, the second one, and I will rush into its path to see what happens in the place where the uh, exhaust pipe was. Well, zero two measuring now. So it looks like moving off-road vehicles do not influence the uh, environment at all, at least concerning the PM 2.5 uh, particles which are the most dangerous ones. You say that our uh, air quality gauge may be faulty because it didn't record any pollution with the vehicles passing by. So we are conducting another experiment. Uh, both of the engines are running, so we want to uh, record the stationary pollution in one place if possible. Now I am about, well, I guess five or six meters from the cars, and the gauge is showing, as you see, 0, 04, so at this distance from the cars with running engines, we still cannot uh, record any pollution, so I will get a step closer. Let's go. I'm only about maybe two, two and a half meters from the vehicles, and what I can see in the gauge, 0406, so that is still nothing, because we know that up to about 50 the air is considered clean. 
So this is much, much cleaner than the air in the cities will ever get. Let's go even closer. Now I am about one meter from the petrol engine vehicle. I still sense 0, 04, 0, 06. Well, maybe the gorge is really faulty. Let's put it closer to the engine. Something like 20 centimeters from the engine. Or 10 centimeters. Well, now the change is really starting to show. 48, 160, 383, 476, 443, 365. So those are pollution levels that are about what we get in the most polluting cities. But as soon as we move a little bit further, yeah, at about one meter, it has dramatically dropped. Well, this is not even one meter, this is about, let's say, 60 centimeters from the exhaust. 38, 39, so 60 centimeters from the exhaust, it's still in the range of clean air. Let's see how we go with the diesel engine. Because diesel engines are known as the real villains as far as pollution goes. So, under the diesel engine, right next to the exhaust, we get measures of 400, 600, 500, 600. But if we move to the distance of about 60 centimeters from a diesel engine, let's record the gradual drop. Yeah. It's down to 14, 10. Incredible. So let's say if, if we move again two or three meters from the engine, again we get absolutely clean air. Zero, four. So now we'll do another experiment. We will turn off the engines and Let's see how much time it takes for the air to clear out. The engines are, have just been turned off. I'm behind the exhaust in the place where we measured some 500, 600 and take a look. Meaning in a matter of seconds the pollution has completely dispersed and the air is clean. Probably, yeah, here we measure a zero, zero. So, zero, two, meaning the petrol engine exhaust pollution has also cleared almost instantaneously. So, those were our experiments, we'll draw our conclusions later. It's simply below uh, one microgram uh, per cubic meter and uh, saying that that is pollution is mockery. So uh, actually when you drive into the nature there's nothing you should be ashamed of you are definitely not polluting. It's out of the question that uh, the pollution that you could possibly make has any impact on the ecosystem where you are 
camping or spending your time. So, let's prepare for the shitstorm that's going to be launched against us by the environmentalists. Have a great day.